cauliflower rice. So I've been eating cauliflower all my life um, as a vegetable. But when I heard about cauliflower rice, first of all, I thought that that was insane. What do you mean? But I have recently become a convert. So here I am to convert you guys. Uh, I hope that you guys like it. It'll be really good. I want to warn you, it does not taste like rice. So it's not that it's something that you're going to be eating um, and, and, and you can fool people into believing that they're eating rice. They, they will know they're not. But it's a much lighter, less starchy um, side for your food cauliflower rice come on come on cauliflower rice is exactly that just cauliflower that has been riced and then fried um, and it's a really delicious option depending on what you put inside it it's a really delicious option uh, and it's really nice to serve with your stews with um, your curries whatever so here is all you need a head of cauliflower i have cleaned this cauliflower and that's all you're going to need all these other things are add-ons uh, i like to add them because i like flavor and you know that and also you guys know me enough by now to know that i like really easy things so you just need cauliflower. I'm going to show you two ways that you can rice your cauliflower. One is with a grater. So this is just any regular box grater um, that you have in your house. I'm sure you have a grater. Or you can use a blender. So I'm going to do both ways just so that you can see it. Uh, and then I'll show you what to do after you have riced your cauliflower. So super, super easy. You just have to grate your cauliflower. Um, that's what people call ricing. So you just have to grate your cauliflower into fine um, rice-like pieces. Here is my box grater, that's what I'm going to use. But I, I like, this is a point to note, I really like to grate when it's still on um, the core. Is this called the core? When it's still on the core, I like to, to grate, hey, to crate. I like to grate when it's still on the core because uh, it's easier to hold. So let me just show you what I mean. You can also separate it into individual florets, but let's start. So that is oh, it. I have grated it all the way down to the core you see there's nothing left there's none of the florets left and then ta-da! <laughs> so there's your riced cauliflower uh, let me show you the second way that you can do it which is in the grater uh, which is in the blender let me show you the second way that you can do it which is in the blender uh, and then i'll come back and show you how to cook it option two like i said for ricing your cauliflower is in the blender what you need to do for that is separate into individual florets so that it's easier to blend of course you don't want to try to blend the whole thing it probably won't work out very well for you so <clears throat> just fill in after your cauliflower has been added to your blender you need to add water because otherwise what will happen is that the cauliflower on the bottom um, of the blender will just continue to get mashy if you have no water in there to like swirl it around the water sort of creates this swirling effect so it gets um, all the cauliflower moving around if you were to leave it dry in the blender then the bottom the, the cauliflower would be sitting on top while the bottom gets mashy and mashy and mashy it's really a mess if you don't put water in that and then we blend it but here's the thing you're actually going to blend it for literally like two seconds it's so quick as soon as you see the pieces of cauliflower disappearing Stop. It's the quickest is the quickest process. So let me just show you literally blend just until uh, all of them are, are All of them disappear. Hold on That's genuinely it. Stop there. Don't do any more than that because any more than that is going to uh, Make it super 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 soft and fine and then when you're trying to cook it, it'll turn to mush turn to mush what is the word it will turn to mush um, when you're trying to cook it so now what we're going to do next is we're going to sieve this out the reason why i don't like to use this process all the time is because there are many steps to it uh, sometimes but if you don't have a grater it's the way to go but there are many steps to it so you need to sieve it out you need to make sure you sort of dry out uh, the cauliflower because you're going to fry it and you need it dry so uh, let me go and get a big sieve so that you can understand how that works big fat giant sieve uh, and then my water, my cauliflower water mixture. Some people keep this water um, to cook with. In fact, I think I might do that. Let me get a container. Hold on. Container and sieve. <laughs> and now my water, my cauliflower water mixture. So all we have to do is sieve it. Uh, okay, here you go.
And so now you want to press out any of the water that remains. You don't have to be super, super perfect about this um, because you're really still going to try to fry it out and make it as dry as possible. Some people um, who, who really want to make a very, very dry rice take this mixture, this mixture here, and put it in a washcloth and ring and ring and ring it out. That's also another way to go. But you know me, I like things easy. So, so I'm just going to press into the seed. And there you go. Now you have your cauliflower, riced cauliflower mixture. So I want us to compare uh, the two different types uh, of riced cauliflower. This one, remember, was done in the grater. It was done dry, so you don't have to bother about trying to figure out how to get the moisture out. This was done in a blender, but you need to add water. Um, they look pretty much the same. Um, at least here, I don't know, maybe on camera they look extremely different, I don't know. But they look <laughs> pretty much the same here. It's just, I really prefer the greater um, option. You can do whichever you like, but I really prefer the greater option. And now we figure out how to fry these up. So we're making this like fried rice. Uh, because I like, you can actually just put a little oil on your pan. But this is a nonstick pan, so you don't need to. But you can just put in... Um, your cauliflower onto the, the, the pan and just let it dry out. The point is for it to dry out and we all know that rice doesn't have too much flavor anyway and this is becoming like your side, your side for your soups and your curries to scoop up um, any of the remaining like soup on your plate etc. So you really don't need um, to add the onion and stuff but I like to eat it almost as a main so I like to flavor it up but we're just going to fry it. So I'm going to uh, light this up, add some onions, put some onions in um, and then the cauliflower, and that's actually it. Two steps, and that's it. Onions and cauliflower, and that's a whole meal. I eat it as a meal. I don't know if that's weird. Let me know if you think that that's weird. Please write down in the in the um, description below because it's basically like eating plain rice, which I'd never do. But because like I flavor this up sometimes, I just eat it by itself. Um, when I'm lazy and there are no other things to eat, I'll just eat it because it's like eating. I mean, it's vegetables. It's like having a side of vegetables. Now my pan has heated up. I usually fry my onions until they're just translucent. Then I add in the cauliflower and that's it. I used to hate onions until very recently. I don't know. I think when I started eating healthy, like my whole palate changed. Please let me know if that happened to you because everything changed. I started liking things I really didn't like. So if you've started sort of eating healthy, let me know. Um, as I burn these onions, let me know if, <laughs> if your palate changed and you started to like things that you never used to like before. And there, into the onions, into the onions, goes the cauliflower. And that's it. So now you can turn up the heat um, a little bit. And we just want to move this around. Move it around until it cooks through. And then that'll be it and you'll be done. Immediately um, you put it in, start moving it around. Uh, you want to make sure, in fact, come back down, let me show you something. You want to make sure that the pan is pretty wide. I like to use a wide pan because you're trying to get rid of all the steam. You're trying to make sure that the water comes out of um, the cauliflower so you need to a wider based pan is better so that the steam can start I don't know if you can see it on camera but there's some steam um, coming up off of the pan you're really trying to dry it out in about three minutes you can sort of just pick it up with um, a spoon give it a taste see if it's a texture that you like and um, because also that's what food is about it, it'll get pretty soft quickly after the three four minute mark it will start getting soft so you want to taste it and see whether it's the firmness that you like and, you, and, and if you want it like that and then season it and you're good to go. So I always add a little salt and any other spice um, that you're feeling. But also remember, like I said, this is not a main meal, it's a side. So most of your flavor, most of the flavor of your meal will come from the beef, the chicken, there's a plain. <laughs> Most of the flavor that you're going to have in your meal is going to come from the rice or the chicken or the, I mean, the beef or the chicken or whatever other meat or vegetable that you're going to serve with this. And that's it. Some, some salt, some pepper. And that's it. You can see the onion. You can see the color from the onion. Color is another thing um, that's really important to me, actually, <laughs> more so these days. Um, because I think that it also is very important to make sure that your food looks good because then you'll be more excited to eat it. I think that's true. So this is what a single serving of your cauliflower rice is going to look like if you add onions like me. And then I'm just going to garnish. 
because you guys told me in another video that you want to see color so we call it cauliflower rice but it really doesn't taste anything like rice i think it's called maybe cauliflower rice because it's riced cauliflower but it can be used as a really good substitute um for your beef chicken um fish whatever uh vegetable soups vegetable curries it's a really nice add on um on the side and it'll do exactly what rice does in a meal uh which is fill you up but it doesn't add all that starch and all that like white you know proper processed rice um in your body and it's a really good way to get vegetables in so have some tag me when you make some i'd love to see it remember that you are what you eat so please eat well and join me in the future so that i can continue to show you how to have your cake and eat it